So we have everything laid out right here. Um, we actually did upgrade, do, do a few upgrades, made everything look a, a lot nicer compared to what it used to look like. The whole room is clean. All the junk is hiding back there. We have a test bench. Um, it was for next week's video, but it ends up that I'm not using anything from here for next week's video. So there's just this test bench sitting here of a bunch of parts. There's a Ryzen 7 2700 in there and the CPU is kind of a little chopped. So there's nothing much I can do about that one. But yeah, I guess look through all this, clean up as much as I can. And I don't know, see where we can go from there. So I guess here's a little background on this computer. I bought this computer a few weeks ago off of Facebook Marketplace for around $150. And he also included this little bin of fancy e-waste. Some of it's good, but I'm gonna go through it later. Right now though, I have to break the entire computer down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the graphics card, which is very, very old. It was a GTX 670. The CPU cooler though wasn't old. That was actually probably the newest thing inside of here as it was a cooler master cooler that the owner bought a month prior to selling me the computer and then he ended up not even using the computer so there was still new thermal paste under the cooler so i was pretty happy with that i'm going to be using that cooler for something else though right here i discovered the cpu is actually an intel core i7 6700 it had included only 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 2400 megahertz. So I won't be using that because I need to put 16 gigabytes in there. And now I just need to take the motherboard out and take the SSD out. And also the power supply too. He said that doesn't work, but I'm going to try it later anyway. One terabyte NVMe SSD. Now he said this wasn't working, which is a Thermaltake Smart 750 watt power supply. So we'll, we'll verify that later, not right now. We got what looks to be a brand new Cooler Master CPU cooler. We got these two sticks of Viper DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM. Yeah, 2400 megahertz. And lastly, we have a GeForce GTX 670 in the build, which I might switch for the GT 970 and put this into my inventory computer. So now I get to look through the box of junk. It came with this little PC case I might use. There's like a 50% chance. It also had the side panel inside the, the box. We have a CPU cooler from a brand. Oh, CPU cooler from a brand called Lepa. Never seen this before. 135 watt power supply. This is also garbage. I'm never using that. That is scary. It came with two attached drives though, which is pretty cool. We also get a SSD, 60 gigabytes. Wow, so generous. Two Corsair, two Corsair fans. Oh yeah, okay. And then they come with these little rings. Yeah, not too bad. 640 gigabyte Western Digital. Six, yeah, six white ARGB, not even ARGB. That Molex RGB that I think connects to the reset switch. GTX 460. Everything else in that box is just fancy e-waste. So I guess this is the last item. It was at the bottom of the box. So, ooh, what, what? A mini ITX board with an i5 3570S CPU. Any bent pins? Oh, uh, there's thermal paste in one bent pin. Two sticks of DDR3. So yeah, that mini ITX board had more than one bent pin. So that's gonna take a little longer than usual so i'm just gonna work on this i7 motherboard i lifted up the cpu to see if there's any bent pins and unfortunately there was a bent pin which was a little infuriating but i just went in with some tweezers and bent those right back into place all right so i bent all the pins back in i put the cpu in one stick of ram uh, a test graphics card and then a fan let's see if we can get into bios all right i am very nervous that this isn't gonna work here we go oh we just made it to the VGA light Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, no way, okay. I'm just glad it works. That was so nerve wracking. All right, so after bending the pins back in, we have the Wi-Fi card in. We have the GT710 in, one stick of RAM, cooler. We got to boot it up, and every time I try and download any sort of drivers for this, even if I go and download the old drivers for it, it won't install, so 
I definitely need to try this on a secondary graphics card, but as far as I know, this motherboard's good. I'm still gonna see how well this can hold up on a CPU stress test because those pins under there, I bent those back into place and I want those to not explode. So let's see what happens. All right, so I'm essentially taking most of this computer apart and I'm putting these components in there. I might keep the water cooler though. And then that's just for something in the future, but that's the plan we're going with right now. I did also switch the eight gigabyte RAM kit in there for 16 gigs of 3000 speed Corsair. So let's just take this apart real quick and then get that put in there. Let's get that out of the way right now. All right, so I already took the motherboard out of the computer. I left in the AIO and the fans. I am going to be taking out the power supply though so I can put the power supply from the build I just took apart in. I'm getting the motherboard installed and right here is that Corsair RAM from earlier. Like I said earlier, much faster, more capacity, so I decided to use it. I'm still using my Noctua thermal paste as usual and now I'm just dropping that AIO right onto the CPU. There's actually one thing I forgot to document and that was the installation of the SSD. There, oh, there's that, that was easy. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna set this up, hold on. All I have to do is just replace this power supply. The main reason I am replacing it is because it would be cheaper to keep the other one in as well as just getting rid of the mustard and ketchup cables in hopes of making the computer sell just a bit faster. And I'm gonna do most of the cable management off camera because it takes a while. All right, we finally got most of the computer assembled. We have, it, it, I mean, it already looks nice. We just need to put the graphics card in now. And then after that, I can already get this booted up and test it out. So let's uh, go straight to putting the graphics card in. Dragons have invaded David Busters. So I did decide to go with the GTX 970 four gigabyte from the last computer after all, as I just want something a little faster. So yeah. Let's drop this computer in and get straight to working on that. It doesn't detect the SSD. All right, let me focus all the attention onto the computer real quick. It's not detecting this SSD, so let me see if it's the fault of the SSD. Oh. Flip that switch off. Put that one in. All right, let's try that. So it did end up detecting the second SSD, so there might be a problem with the first one. I also do need to fix the RAM speeds and then boot straight into my Windows Media. Alright, here we are. This part always takes a while, so I tend to just always leave this running and then leave the room, probably go watch YouTube for like 20 minutes, do something like that. When I come back, I sometimes try to make local accounts, but I'll just give in and put my email in and do something like that and that's what I did end up doing and then uh, I went to download some random games to test them out and then I did need to activate it so that gets us straight to our sponsor keysfan.com keysfan.com is a website where you can buy Microsoft Office as well as Windows license keys and many more they are currently having a sale up to 62% off on lifetime Microsoft Office the code would be ETH62 as well as most Windows 11 and Windows 10 keys are 50% off with promo code ETH50. Right now I'm going through the motions of adding a Windows 11 key to my cart and using promo code ETH50 to get 50% off. My favorite thing about this is you can do it with multiple keys instead of just one, which is a pretty good method to get Windows keys for somebody like me. I use PayPal as a personal preference, which I think is very convenient for payment. But yeah, links for everything will be down in the description below. And I'd really like to thank Keysfan for sponsoring today's video. All right, so with this computer fully done, I still haven't sold that one because I forgot to list it last week, which is crazy of me. It is time to pack, so I have removed a lot of stuff. I'm organizing it into boxes. I still don't know where most of all of this stuff's gonna go, but I need to figure out how to pack that up, pack this stuff up. And after that, it should be good to go. I have nothing much to say. You might not see me for more than a week this time around, which I'm sorry about, but I mean, other than that, see ya.